what's up buttercup thank you for sharing that bean brownie recipe um i am not eating beans or honey in maintenance right now but those are both things that i'll probably be introducing again sparingly when i'm in maintenance but that looks delicious and i will definitely try making it sometime it looked so good okay so i have finally i've missed i missed last week i was doing um doing something called the disney challenge and I was just fried and exhausted and I actually really did forget. Also, you need to give me another punishment because I missed last week, but I finally, finally have my punishment from months ago. Uh, so I'm gonna go over a lesson plan with you and it's actually a lesson plan that I used at an interview. I've had two interviews this week. It's the one that I want the most and at the district that I most want to be in. Um, they asked me to bring in a lesson plan. I didn't teach the lesson plan, but I gave it to them and I went over it with them. So I'm going to go over it with you. So this lesson plan is for grade 11 and it, um, works on some of the literature standards, reading literature standards that are, uh, about analyzing literature, looking at author choices, uh, also writing about those choices. And it is all about flash fiction, which I love. Um, one of the reasons I chose to do this, and I, one of the things I talked about in the interview, is that it can be, um, it's the introductory lesson. It introduces what flash fiction is, and then you use flash fiction for them to both write about fiction and read fiction. And since they're so short, you can have them comparing things really easily. So, um, and I had to tell them what flash fiction was, so I'll tell you, it's super short um, fiction. Stories that I used in my lesson plan example are all like 500 words or less, although there is varying definitions of what it is, and that's actually part of what I do in the lesson. So the lesson starts with the students coming in, and on the board I have written the short story that is often attributed to Hemingway, and this is the entirety of it. It says, for sale, baby shoes never worn. And then uh, I will have also written on the board some questions to go with it, uh, where what does a story need to be a story? Is this a story? Um, is the amount of what's left unsaid unsettling, interesting, annoying? So kids spend the first couple of minutes in class writing. They respond to that. Um, <clears throat> then we discuss it as a class uh, to go over that. Then we, do, we read an article called Flashes on the Meridian, Dazzled by Flash Fiction, uh, which is by Pamela Castro. And so we read that, which, you know, really goes over what what flash fiction is and what are some examples of it and things like that. Um, one of the things that I would do, and I mentioned this in the interview, I would project so that the students could see my, my copy of the article uh, and we would be highlighting and annotating so that they're seeing that modeled. That is a successful re reading strategy so I'd want them to see me doing that uh, and copy me doing that. Um, <clears throat> Um, so after we read the article, I give the students each one short flash fiction. Um, in this, I can't remember the story. Okay. We'd start with a Kafka one and we'd talk about, we'd read it as a class. We would talk about it. We'd answer the questions. So there's a list of questions that I would have on the board. They'd, and then they'd write about it as we had talked about it. Again, we modeling all of that. Then, since we've modeled it and they understand what flash fiction is, they get two flash fiction stories to read on their own and to respond to in writing. Um, you know, where they're analyzing the author choices and how those worked or didn't work and things like that. Um, I'm gonna, at the end, I'm gonna collect those papers. We're also gonna end with a quick discussion of flash fiction and these two stories and things like that wrap up. Um, yeah, and that's the end of it. And then I also talked in the interview about how this is the introductory lesson for a unit on flash fiction about a week maybe, where the next thing that we, would, that we would do is they would begin to work on writing their own flash fiction pieces. Uh, and then finally, they would do like peer review. So what we've done in this lesson with famous flash fiction, they'd get to do with their peers um, pieces. That was the best interview I've had in so long. And I, I'm really, really, really hoping they call back and offer me a job. I really wanna work for them. They seem amazing. I'm glad I finally did my punishment. Uh, excited to find out what my next one is. Looking forward to seeing you do something you haven't ever done. Go to some event and show us about it. And 
Bye bye, buttercup. What's up, buttercup? This is a postscript. I made this a little while ago, and I just want you to know I got the job. So, bye bye, buttercup again.